Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing another Jailhouse Burrito Taste Test. Now, what I'm going to be putting into this is cheddar and sour cream baked puffs, uh, nacho cheese bugles, these are really good in Jailhouse Burritos, a little bit of ramen, Slim Jim, and then as you know, if you watch these uh, taste test videos often, I try to put something a little bit different into each one to make it stand out. And actually, in this one, we're going to be baking the entire uh, Jailhouse burrito on the inside of a meatloaf. Crazy, right? <laughs> now, I say this in every one of my taste test videos. I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to make this. Uh, if you watch my channel much, you know how to make a Jailhouse burrito. And honestly, if you know how to make a meatloaf, um, you can figure out how to uh, go ahead and put a Jailhouse burrito right in the middle of it. It's just that easy. All right? I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing made up. Uh, give it a shot and tell you guys what I think. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, there it is. Jailhouse burrito baked into a meatloaf. Jailhouse burrito made with uh, cheddar cheese puffs, nacho cheese bugles, Slim Jim, ramen. And normally when you make a meatloaf, you would use breadcrumbs, crackers, something like that that works really well with the egg to bind the meat together. Um, but in this one, I used Cheez-Its. So there's actually Cheez-Its infused with the meatloaf. All right, let's go ahead and let's cut it right down the middle, I think. All right. Now I already got my thumbnail, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's see if we can get a good cross section here. Wow. Okay, I'll give you guys a close up of this. You can see the uh, jailhouse burrito right in the middle of that meatloaf. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Um, <laughs> honestly, I think this thing is a no-brainer. I think this is going to be delicious. My mouth is watering. I'm trying to decide where I want to go. Um, let's go right here. All right. You want to get everything. You want to get a big chunk of the burrito. Good bite of the meatloaf. And there you have it. Jailhouse burrito baked inside of a meatloaf. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's, it's everything you think it would be. It... It's pretty damn amazing. It's hard to really describe. Um, uh, you can taste the Cheez-Its in the meatloaf, first off. Um, and the burrito combination is really good. You get a little kick from the nacho cheese bugles, and the ketchup mixes really well with everything. Um, there is not one thing about this that I do not like. <laughs> that is insane. That is more food than I can handle, though, I think. I'm definitely going to have leftovers, I'll tell you that. Let's get another bite here. Got more uh, burrito in this bite. We'll get a little bit more meatloaf. Alright. Big bite, guys. Big bite. Let's go ahead. <laughs> oh, man. That is insane. I did something similar to this, and I think it was about maybe three, four years ago, something like that. You'd have to look through my channel. It, it's on there. Um, but I actually wrapped the burrito in bacon before I put it into the meatloaf. And uh, I put chicken nuggets at, at the base of the meatloaf. So it was a uh, jailhouse burrito wrapped in bacon, baked in a meatloaf with a chicken nugget base. Um, that thing was nuts. I. <laughs> this is so good. It's crazy. I mean... When it comes to these burritos, guys, you got to play around with the recipe. What's the point if you don't have a little bit of fun with it and try something new? Let's get one more bite here. It's kind of falling apart on me. Oh, look at that. That bite right there. See some beef stick poking out there? It's going to be good. All right, going in. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think on the first two bites, I don't think I got any beef stick. It was delicious. Really good flavor, but just uh, missing the beef stick. Huh. Now, um, 
if I had to give this taste test a 1 out of 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, guys, it's, it's a 20. It's a 30. <laughs> you guys got to give this a shot. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. You know, in every one of my taste test videos, I say I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of that off camera. I'm going to put this thing in the fridge. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat this thing in one sitting. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Please take a second, like the video, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos. You guys have a great day.